I'm Brandon Fix with Bell Road Genetics. Um, we're just here today to talk about our solar fencer setup that we just did. Uh, we've been talking about it and done a lot of research trying to figure out the best way to go about it. Um, and we finally got the project done and it's all put together and turns out it's working. Um, a few of the reasons we decided to do this solar setup um, was we've been using some temporary solar fencers. Um, various different brands from Parmax to Gallagher's to homemade type deals and they're just not quite as reliable we can't get as much power out of them uh, we've been having issues with batteries going bad uh, all of the above so we want a more reliable permanent source of, of electricity to run a better fencer um, and we can get a lot more power we can get a lot better fencer um, and just again have a more reliable source of, of electricity for our fence um, I guess starting out the components involved, uh, starting with the solar panel, which is outside here, is a, uh, I believe it's a 100 watt solar panel. the solar controller we can step back in here and see it better um, this is the charge controller which regulates how much power is sent to the battery into the fencer um, so that once the battery's full it, it quits charging um, so not to ruin the battery I don't know whether you can see it there or not but it gives a readout on how many volts um, and then it's actually got a power switch to where you can turn the load on or off we've got it on because our fencers running right now uh, one thing they did tell us is you want to make sure you hook your battery to the charge controller before you hook the solar panel. Um, they said there's a fuse in there that'll blow that's really not replaceable. Um, and then the next thing would be the, the fencer. Uh, we elected to go with the stay fix. This is an X6i. Uh, you can use variety of different ones. One of the big advantages we found to this was it's actually able to run off DC power and that reduces the need for an inverter uh, which reduces your cost and everything else. So this specific fence will run DC or AC um, and one thing that we've become pretty big fans of is the quality of the stay fix and buying a quality fencer because uh, it's a pretty big investment that you need to rely on and you don't want to have to replace it anytime soon. Mention the remote. And these, this is the remote capable version. They come with or without a remote. Uh, this place here stretches about a mile from one end to the other so we went with the remote just for the ease of being able to turn it on and off uh, when you're out and about and you run into a spot. Uh, we use the remotes a lot. They kind of spoil you but uh, they're very handy. And then the battery, uh, this is just a, I think it's a Walmart marine dual purpose battery, uh, 60 or 70 bucks, we'll buy one of those. We gotta get a box for it, we don't wanna set that on the metal or anything, it'll drain that battery, drain the cells out. Uh, so we still gotta get that part, but really there's just the four components. Um, I think the solar panels, they said that you want 10 watts for every jewel of fencer. And I, as I said, we did a 100 watt panel for a six jewel fencer, but it was not much more to get a 100 watt panel. Um, so we went ahead and did that. And then that way, just in case we're not getting enough sunlight, um, we've got extra power generating uh, throughout the day. Uh, as far as the costs go, I think the panel is somewhere in the $120 range. And that's another thing that in the research we've done with solar, I don't think I'd skimp on a panel. I think you want to buy a fairly high quality one. Because again, just like a fencer, it's a fairly big investment that you don't want to have to be changing regularly. Uh, if you can have one last 20 years versus 10 years, you know, that's less work and half the cost. 
Uh, the charge controller somewhere in twenty thirty dollar range. The battery, like I said, sixty or seventy bucks. And the biggest investment's the fencer. I think we paid in the neighborhood of five and a half or six hundred for these, which I don't know. So you might be able to buy them cheaper somewhere else. Uh, that included the remote. And that was the one with the remote. I think you knock about a hundred dollars off if you get it without the remote. But yeah, I think that's about all I got uh, on the solar fencer. Again, this is our first time putting one up, and it wasn't too bad. If you've got someone around that knows something about solar, I'd definitely advise talking to them. They've got a lot more knowledge about it. But this is a pretty simple setup, and we were uh, somewhat intimidated, you could say, when we started looking into it, but really it's not that bad. So if you have any questions, feel free to holler at us. Um, you can look us up on Facebook at Bell Rule Genetics or visit us online at bellrule.com. Uh, give us a call, email, message, whatever. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and visit with you about it. Thank you.